This is a bunch of stuff from the early 70s that I did. Squirrely the squirrel. About vicious, cuddly, cute cartoon characters that are completely cruel, but so cute, so irresistibly cute. And the, the fox is usually the villain in a story about you know foxes and squirrels. It becomes the victim. He's foxes. He decided to change his ways and throws an organic garden and squirrel. He's real irritated bored by the whole thing so he starts stomping on the plants and he thinks he's very f funny and clever he starts laughing and the fox of course gets infuriated and uh, starts chasing him with his trowel or whatever that is and that now the squirrel's happy he gets a big kick out of that and he picks up a bottle of some sort of a poison like a insect repellent or something and throws it in the fox's face and the fox is blinded. He thinks it's hilarious. He's a cute cartoon character. He thinks, you know, he can, everything he does is cute. <laughs> so the next day he's bored. He walks down the street and he sees the fox is wearing dark glasses. He says, hi, Farneal sport. You're a sight for sore eyes. Yak, yak. And he's completely blinded. <laughs> That squirrel, you still a mischievous little devil. He hands him a lighted match, which he so he burns his hand. Fox lunges out and grabs him around the neck, and he's strangling him. Then a, a lady animal comes up and starts beating the fox over the back with her purse, and the policeman comes up and clubs the fox and takes him to jail. And at the end, the squirrel gets the girl, because he's so cute. He says, ain't I a devil? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a black view of life, I guess.